In today's video reveal, we're going to be looking at the Too Many Terrors uh, Killer Clown from Outer Space 2 pack from NECA. You can see here in the 2 pack, it contains Slim and Chubby, Too Many Terrors, stuff in the box, with the lightning, and all that. Uh, the logo. There you go. See the figures in the box right now. You actually somewhat see me. Uh, on the side of the box, we got Slim and the uh, cotton candy cocoons and uh, on this side we have uh, Chubby with the, uh, the clown offspring and the, uh, the popcorn bag which they came out of on the back you can see actually Shorty there focus and you can see the guy he knocked his block off you can see the dumpster where they put the popcorn in you can see the what remains of that poor security guard yeah. if, uh, if you want to read that uh, Big top right over there. And there's a figure in the back. I'm going to cut the camera real quick. Get these guys out of their box. And then we can get started. And I'm back. Before I continue the review, actually, I'm going to turn on my light. Because it's going to be more off. Because it was the last time I was going to turn it off. There we go. Much better. Uh, before I continue, make sure to look at your packaging. Because... These two do come with stands, so I'm actually going to pop these on them real quick. One to help uh, Chubby stand better because of his pose. So I'm actually going to put that on him real quick. We're going to fall over down here to And uh, you can also give him... Well, he stands pretty well. Uh, yeah, I'll do it anyway. You know, Slim stands pretty well without it, so I'm going to actually put it on anyway. But, uh, yeah. See here? These are... Decently big figures, honestly. They're very nice. Uh, they're not really. They're, they are action figures, but they're not really action figures in the word sense. They're more statues, but honestly, they make really nice display of pieces. And also, the part to me, in the box, it came with this cool little thing, so you could actually have them displayed in this backdrop if you wanted to, which it did come with. So I just want to show that off before I continue. Uh, before I get to them, I'm actually going to check out the accessories, so I'm going to slide these two to the back before we get to those guys. Now, what it came with was the Cotton Candy Coon. You can see the face right there. And the guy, and the sculpting on this is very nice. Well painted. That's a shame. It's fine. Uh, if you have actually a hook, you could hang it up somewhere. I don't sadly have one on me, you know. But uh, you can see the guy's face is very nicely painted. Just nice, very clean yellow, I will say. I know yellow is hard to paint, but that yellow is very clean, honestly. But yeah, it looks very nice. Uh, we have the uh, acid pie. The acid pie is right here. here it is. You know, simple pie. Nice plastic. Uh, we have the cotton candy ray gun. Of course, to go along with the uh, the cocoon, obviously. Because in the movie, uh, they would basically point to set them and they would turn into a cotton candy cocoon. But, uh, definitely, I will say, this, this has got to be one of my favorite movies. Just memorable lines. Amazing, good special effects. I just love the movie. Just had to say that real quick. It's just definitely up there one of my favorite movies. I'm probably going to go on a tangent later on. Just talk about how much I love it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but yeah. You can see here, uh, we bring these two back up where we can actually give them their accessories. Uh, you can see that, uh, Slim is pre-posed to hold it. Oops. I knocked him over. So yeah, we just slot right there into his hand. Just a nice nug fit. And then for Chubby, I think you just gotta really just balance it on his hand. But I feel like mine is kind of in the wrong pose, though. That's what I'm seeing here. Maybe not. Where's my hand just... Maybe my hand is... Oh! Uh, I, I was just being stupid, I guess. There you go. Oh. Oops. You're back. Sorry. <laughs> I have retrieved it. I am back. Oops. Oh, my camera. Pop that right there. Ah, just... There we go. I do wish... 
there was a peg there, maybe. But I get it. Makes sense. You don't want to ruin that nice hole from the figure. I get it. Yeah, it now, uh, before we continue, I'd say we can get down to actually looking at the clowns themselves, shall we? So I've looked at the figures, now let's actually look at the clowns. I will go, we will look at Chubby first, because he is the bigger one. Well, not bigger, but you know, uh, definitely like the, uh, the effect here, it's very, very nice and movie accurate. And I like how they simplified those designs, but you can still tell that these are those exact same clowns from the movie. Definitely. Very nice. The painting is very clean, honestly. I will say, that, uh, my Chevy does have a little bit of a overspill, a little bit of red overspill on his chin. I don't know if you can see it. See a little bit of some, some black here and there. So it's not supposed to be there. Besides that, honestly, the teeth are well painted. Oh, oh it's a nice figure. I can't really focus on it actually. Very nice head sculpt. Very nice indeed. Now, in terms of articulation, there's not much here. Move his arm back that much. Arm back that much. Uh, nothing in the hand. Movement in this hand. Arm come up by that much. Head is on a uh, okay bubble joint. Go all the way around. chubby and now we'll look at slim very movie I, I, I just love these because they're just like they're kind of like mini statues in a way maybe that's why I like them because they're not honestly that off from the actual movie in terms of like being really cartoony because the designs in the movies were already pretty cartoony but just realistic that's what I like about the designs in the movie actually Take a look at that head sculpt right there. Actually, I did I actually sketch Slim once. We were actually pretty happy with sketch. But uh, see his makeup there. All the clowns have somewhat unique makeup from each other, too. So, yeah, see that. See those uh, three balloons on his head. I do wish they were painted red to make them a little more distinguished from his hair, but you know, that's fine. They can't be candy candy ray gun. They actually painted the nails too, which potential detail. They actually painted their nails. To the back here. To the back. Uh, very nice suit. See the uh, three moons and the little circle things he had. Yeah. Uh, his articulation is actually pretty similar to Chubby. Ball joint the head. Yeah, I don't think you actually look all the way around. I'm not gonna force it. Uh, you can do it with your copy. Uh, this hand can actually swivel. Do it. The arm can go back in. Uh, I don't think I'm forward that much. Other arm. That much. That's that much. I will say you can't get much because of these, uh, their clown collars, I guess you can call them. Also, there's other people. Can I get the feet? Oh, no. I'm not even check. Uh, it's not just the feet. But yeah. Uh, these are very nice. Now, in terms of size, I grabbed a few figures that I have on hand right now. Uh, I don't have many Transformers on hand right now, because I am in the middle of a move. I'll just say that. We have Studio Series 100 Bumblebee. Big there compared to him. There you go. Uh, Rise of the Beast Rhinox. There you go. Big there compared to him. And... Legacy Leader Class Transmetal whatever Megatron Dragon Megatron there you go there you go now I'm just gonna just say something like I think I might just take the time out just to say like it's definitely up there in terms of being definitely one of my favorite movies because it's just so memorable to me I don't know why though the music that like that opening song the the guitar like that that the you know the one I think it's called Mark or something like that when they're walking 
to the town from the spaceship. So many quotable lines and memorable lines. All the clowns in the movie look awesome. One of my personal favorite clowns is Jumbo and uh, Clownzilla or Jojo, whatever his name is. Definitely two of my favorite clown designs. Uh, up there, this one. Just, I love the makeup effects. I love the designs for the clowns. Definitely up there. The acting was good, you know, for, you know, it could be really, really good. And uh, I really hope it gets a sequel. That is what I'm hoping so badly for, is that we get a killer clown from outer space too. What's that mean? Huh, my camera cut there. Uh, I hope, because we are getting all these killer clown products, like, I don't know if you've seen the, the cotton candy ray gun, the prop one, and a couple other things, a little merchandise like this, and that video game that should be out soon, I think. We, I really hope we do get a sequel. I heard that they were thinking, like, they have sequel ideas, but I just really hope we get a killer clown from outer space, too. Because I know, from what I heard, that there's supposed to be one, and it was called killer clown, The Return of the Killer Clown from Outer Space. 3D. But that's what I just said. But this is my video review on the NECA 2D Terrors Killer Clown from Outer Space. Uh, slim and chubby two pack. I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, what's your opinion about this movie? In the comments below. That was my opinion. What's yours? Alright, this is me. Signing off. See you next time. Goodbye.